let's try an exercise now. Try to simplify the constitutive equation for a Hookian isotropic elastic solid to obtain an expression for the Young's modulus capital E in terms of the Lame constants lambda and mu and the Poisson ratio nu. Did you get A that E equals 2 mu, B equals lambda minus 2 mu lambda, C equals lambda minus 2 nu lambda plus 2 mu, D equals lambda minus 2 nu lambda, or E, E equals lambda plus 2 mu. So let's start by writing an equation for the special case of uniaxial tension, which would be T11 equals E times epsilon 1 by definition of E, which from the constitutive equation for the Hookean elastic solid will be lambda times E11 plus E22 plus E33 plus 2 mu times E11. Now, making use of the definition of the Poisson ratio, namely that E22 and E33 in this case is equal to minus nu times E11. Then we get that E times epsilon 11 is lambda times epsilon 11 times 1 minus 2 nu plus 2 mu times epsilon 11. Now we can cancel epsilon 11 on both sides and get that E is equal to lambda times 1 minus 2 nu plus 2 mu, or lambda minus 2 nu lambda plus 2 mu, which is answer C. Now let's consider the other stress components in this problem and use them to eliminate nu from the previous answer to obtain an expression for the Young's modulus E only in terms of the Lame constants lambda and mu. Did you get A, mu times 2 lambda plus 3 mu, all over lambda plus mu? B, mu times 3 lambda plus 2 mu over lambda plus mu? C, lambda squared over lambda plus mu plus 2 mu? D, 3 lambda plus 2 mu over mu times lambda plus mu? or E, mu times 3 lambda plus mu over lambda minus mu. So now we make use of the fact that the normal stresses perpendicular to the axis of the tension, T22 and T33, are equal to zero, which gives us from the isotropic Hookean elastic solids constitutive law that lambda times epsilon 1 1 plus epsilon 2 2 plus epsilon 3 3 plus 2 mu times epsilon 2 2 or epsilon 3 3 is equal to 0. Now substituting in for epsilon 2 2 and 3 3 again using the Poisson ratio we get that lambda epsilon 1 1 times 1 minus 2 nu minus 2 mu nu times epsilon 1 1 is equal to 0 and then again we can cancel epsilon 1 1 from this to get that lambda plus 2 lambda nu minus 2 mu nu is equal to 0, which we can rearrange for nu in terms of the Lame coefficients equals lambda over 2 times lambda plus mu. Now we can substitute that into the expression that we got above for E, which was lambda minus 2 nu lambda plus 2 mu, to get lambda minus 2 lambda times nu, which is lambda over 2 times lambda plus mu, plus 2 times nu. Then that can be rearranged to lambda times lambda plus mu minus lambda squared plus 2 mu times lambda plus mu, all over lambda plus mu. Well, we cancel the 2's here, multiply this term and this term by lambda plus mu. The lambda squared's here cancel so we get lambda squared plus lambda mu minus lambda squared plus 2 lambda mu plus 2 mu squared over lambda plus mu. These terms cancel and simplifies to mu times 3 lambda plus 2 mu divided by lambda plus mu, which is answer B.